last season you thought that the team was good enough to make the playoffs. You mentioned that you know this is a playoff team. Do you still feel that way that you assembled a playoff team, or has this made you sort of reassess you know, what type of no, team? No, I is still it? believe we're a playoff team. Yes. When we come to the rink, everybody enjoys it. But at the same time, we're working hard. We're working. Uh, together and we're and we're just having fun doing it. So when you come when you come to the rink every day and you're enjoying being working with those guys, uh, it makes your job a lot easier. You're excited excited about it. We're going on the road. Guys are excited about it. So you know it's we had a point during the season that we weren't playing very well, and uh, we had everybody dialed in. Still, we 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 didn't turn on each other. No one was pointing fingers. We we just we just turned the page. Got to win, and then we start winning a, a lot more. So, um, just the way that the, this team is is close to each other, and um, everybody cares about each other, and it's uh, it's been a great year. I've seen a lot of this. Here's Gostas Bear. Only on back to Giroux. Takes a look, and the shot hit the crossbar rebound. Couturier, he scores. There Sean Couturier, his 30th goal this season, is 100th of his NHL career. It's a power play goal that gets the Flyers back within one. Yeah, it's been a special year. I feel lucky, you know, to kind of stepped up in, in the kind of, you know, number, number one uh, center. Um, you know, playing with G also really, really helped me and, you know, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we seem to have some good chemistry and kind of find uh, find each other pretty well out there and uh, you know I'm uh, it was a lot of fun this year for sure. Kut's always been a special player uh, I think this year offensively he's uh, he's got some bounces and his confidence was a little bit higher than the years before but um, you know Kutz does a lot for our team uh, it could be scoring the, the clutch goal or uh, getting the big face off or playing defensively and I mean he plays against the, the top line pretty much every night so uh, his job is not easy and um, He's just a really smart hockey player, and uh, I mean, I'm, I'm I'm the lucky one to be able to play with him. Well, for Coots, you, you're seeing a you know a player that he's just continued to grow in every area. I think the most uh, you know he gets uh, the most attention for the growth in his offensive numbers, and there's no question it's been a breakout year for him uh, offensively. But he continues to grow in that two-way role. Um, you know, he's he's playing more minutes in more of these situations, and they're tough, hard minutes, and. He continues to handle those very well, and I think the other side, you know, that uh, that sometimes goes a little bit unspoken is the leadership side. He's a he's a quiet, uh, you know, a quiet person in the in the dressing room. He's not the most outspoken, but he is a he is a figure in our dressing room and a presence in our dressing room that's looked to. You know, I've always been that kind of guy that uh, takes takes pride in in defense and and can play a solid two-way game. Um, I've always wanted to be more of an offensive guy. I was just kind of waiting for the, the more of the opportunities to kind of showcase uh, that, that side of my game. Uh, but like I said, I, I, I try to do whatever I can to help the team. In the past, it was kind of more in a you know, defensive role and that I kind of did whatever I could to, to help this team. And now to finally get the kind of the opportunity to showcase offensively and help this team offensively and be kind of the guy, you know, late in games if, you know, we're up or, or down a goal, whatever situation it is, I can I can be out there and that's kind of kind of why you play hockey for, for those situations and I, I just try to do my best when when I get those chances. So we have, uh, you know, a good good mix of, of leaders and, and young guys, uh, you know, trying to prove themselves and, uh, you know, some, some older guys that are, you know, hungry to to win and, and uh, I think just that the mix is, is really nice and uh, everyone's buying in, everyone's all in and um, you know I, I, I seem to be saying this a lot but guys are guys are doing whatever they can to help the team and, and uh, it's, it's nice when you get everyone contributing that way. The biggest thing is my defensive side of my game. I think uh, you know, for me right now, I think, uh, you know, for the defensive sake, I think, you know, I really, you know, jumped leaps and bounds, you know. I think, uh, you know, having a good stick out there and, you know, being matched with Provi and being partners with him, you know, has really helped me on the defensive side. And, 
you know, my offensive side has always taken care of itself, but I think, you know, when you have a little more confidence out there, it's, it's easier to make more plays. It's easier to see more plays as well. So, you know, obviously it's it's been going great, and, you know, hopefully we can, you know, ride this right into the playoffs. Every player grows, and, you know, you're talking about a young defenseman in the National Hockey League, um, and, you know, Ghost continues to grow week in and week out. And, you know, there's no question that he's a different player now than he was his rookie year. Um, you know, the offensive ability is, is, is and always has been there. Um, you know, his, his instincts offensively and his abilities uh, to make things happen are, uh, you know, are, are tremendous. Um, but you know what, he continues to grow the rest of his game. And in this league, to be a great player, uh, it's the rest of that foundation uh, that, that really sets the course for you. Shane Gostas a laser, and the power play tally has this game deadlocked at three. Yeah, I think we had the same surgery the same day, and we rehabbed together, and um, you know we kind of went through it together. And uh, last year we didn't have great years, but uh, you can see this year that um, he looked like the ghost of his first year, and he really his defensive game got a lot better. You know he worked on it. He's I. I think he's got a great stick, you know, defensively, being able to read plays, and um, he's uh, he, he had a great year this year. I'm one of the, you know, older young guys, as they say, and, you know, I was one of the first guys to, you know, get up here, and, you know, it's cool to see, you know, all the younger guys, you know, matriculate into the, you know, the NHL, into the Flyers, and, you know, every year we're going to have, a, you know, probably a, another young guy, you know, coming under the wings, so, you know, it, it's cool to see, you know, our, these guys, you know, how they've developed, and it's it's definitely a compliment to you know all the coaches, coaches especially in Lehigh Valley, and and our coaches up here. I mean, they they instill the confidence in us to you know go out there and you know just do our thing. I think that's the biggest thing that's you know really helped us as young guys. He's cutting in, jabs it free, they score! Oh, Giroux rams it home. They tie it at six. <laughs> Great effort by Provorov to keep the puck on connect the hole. Pass back to Ruth Fires, and he scores! First and six, Bezos is on the clip, and he scores! Oh, Cole Giroux, what a goal! Giroux for the shot, he scores! A broken play, but it's a goal. The Flyers have tied this game at one, and Giroux finally saw. I haven't seen any different uh, fire in, uh, in G than I've seen, you know, throughout the previous two years that I've been here. Um, you know, uh, in my mind, not that he had to. He's answered every every question and he's answered the bell in a in a very strong way this year, uh, with his performance off the ice, uh, with that steely uh, determination and demeanor that he has off the ice, uh, and and certainly in a lot of areas that nobody ever sees. Uh, on the outside, he's been a great leader for our hockey team. Um, offensively, he's you know in, in a league that it's really hard uh, to produce uh, offense on a regular basis. He's done it, uh, and uh, you know, like I said, he's uh, uh, whether he's needed to or not, he's, he's certainly answered any of the critics. It's unbelievable what what he does. Uh, you know, some people kind of said uh, some negative thought things about him uh, you know past few years but you can see now that he's back healthy and can do what uh, what he does best and uh, you know he's, he seems to be having a lot of fun and it's, it's always nice uh, when you when you have your your leader your captain uh, you know enjoying the game that much Year, we had a 10 game winning streak and missed the playoffs and we joked about it remember we lost our 10 games and you know what we said huh, maybe this is the year we go to the playoffs completely a texas turnaround they need just one point and if they can take care of business nothing any other team does is gonna matter i think when you got big games like that and you make the playoffs if you win if you lose you're going home uh, you try to prepare yourself as as the best you can mentally, and uh, I think guys did that. I think we came to the rink uh, that day, and um, you know, guys were were focused, were uh, they were energized, and uh, were excited about the game. So uh, that was it's th th those are just the fun games to play. Couturier 
took the pass from Giroux and drifts and gives it on to Giroux again. Right around here, the big score! Oh. Gunas on the right side, cut through traffic, knocked down, rebound, they score! Michael Ruffel turns and beats Lundqvist, his 13th of the year, it's 3-0 Flyers! What a play by Raffle. Is that any good? Offensive arsenal. Raffle back, Giroux, a shot, he scores! Floated back out. And this is Giroux. Score! Here come the hats. Well, listen to this sellout crowd. The best, biggest crowd ever in a regular season game at Wells Fargo Center. And what a treat that Claude Giroux has given them. Three goals, now 102 points on the year. And he may well yet with the Hart Trophy. Great job, Rafi, great work, everybody, great job. But it's got to go to the captain. You want to make three goals in the most important win. 102 points, congrats, buddy, great success.